All right, so the prototype boards for the real-time clock EEPROM shield for the Arduino just came in. Uh, so I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, as you can see, we have the, bad, the new boards that are ordering. They won't have this. There's a small mistake with the, I ordered the wrong battery number, battery part. Uh, so those are no longer look like that. They're fully on the board. We have the real-time clock, which is a DS1307. Uh, we have two uh, EEPROM chips, uh, which are 32 kilobytes each, and they are the... I don't remember the first couple. They're the 256LP uh, ATSC, something like that. Uh, you'll notice on here that we have... Um, the DS1307, you can't set the address of it. Uh, it has no address pins. You might be able to change it uh, through a program, but I don't remember. However, the EEPROM chips have jumpers, so you can set the address of them. So should your, uh, you have another I2C device that conflicts with it, you can just change these addresses. Uh, we've got the required well, not required, um, 4.7K uh, resistors. We have the double riser headers, which makes this shield stackable. So you'll see, just go like so. So stacked on, and you can easily just stack another shield on, just like this. So it makes uh, kind of plug-and-play uh, devices for your Arduino really possible. So that's it for this one. Basically, you you can use it if you need a real-time clock or you need to store values. Uh, I'm, I'm actually using the EEPROMs. One is to store settings of a program, and the other one provides some logging. Uh, functionality. So I hope you enjoy it. Comments are always welcome, as well as improvements. The uh, sorry schematics will be up on the site very shortly, and there should be a link in the right little description area for the video. Hope you enjoy it.